I definitely believe this is how they trick us. Now, if you listen to Dr. Joe Dispenza or a bit of Abraham Hicks and some others like Greg Braden, they all talk about the power of manifestation and the key part of it being seeing things as as if they've already happened. And then tying that to emotions. Now, when you look at the media and you look at alternative channels on YouTube, across the board consistently, you see them talking about a dollar collapse, starvation, and nuclear war. What's interesting is not just the information, but the certainty behind it, as if it's already going to happen. Like they have no doubt in their mind, this is going to happen. Now, what happens is we see that, we feel that certainty, and We key it in with certain indicators and feel that certainty emotionally, fearfully. And that actually supports the manifestation of what they're talking about. That's the travesty. But the key thing is it hasn't happened yet. Now, hear me out on this because I'm I'm for sure not saying that that facts don't line up to all this happening. There are definite facts, just like you can find facts for many things. There are strong facts. But I am saying that this is a way they hijack our intentions, hijack our emotion, and hijack our collective consciousness by... By putting out this information with so much certainty that we believe it so much that we're taking actions as if it's already occurred. Now, again, I'm not saying the facts don't line up because they do. There's a lot of facts that definitely do line up. What I am saying is that it hasn't happened yet. And in fact, our human nature is much more adaptable than people realize. Think about all those runners that win marathons. How do they do it? They go over, under, through obstacles that get in the way of their determination to win of their determination to make it to the top of a mountain, whatever it might be, people have that certainty within them as if it's already happened and their emotionality pulls them forward. You also can look at things like the crew of a shuttle needing a solution. And this is the guidance they get. I don't care what anything was designed to do. I care about what it can do. I want this mark all the way back to Earth with time to spare. We never lost an American in space. We're sure as hell not going to lose one on my watch. Failure is not an option. I believe in finding solutions we go over, under, through. And that at the end of the day, that yes, there could be starvation. There could be the dollar collapse. But also at the same time, there's this fortitude that says, okay, even the mailman, the postman, you know, I'm going to get that delivered no matter what, right? That same mentality brings us through any of this. Instead of looking at the ending chapter of humanity, think about it as a stress test and adaptability and human nature to be creative and go over and through is a big thing to trust in. Because the thing of it is, there's always ways to get things delivered. And even if the dollar collapses, there's always ways of exchanging goods and, and moving on. I believe that we'll have the adaptability to keep moving forward and not only build over and through these. This is one of those moments that brings us well above where we were before, where we're going to pass with flying colors. Sure, there are going to be some moments, but in the end, it's seeing and knowing that vision of the end in mind that's beyond what they're talking about. What makes this even better is when we collectively take our emotional energy and apply it to where we want to go. The the excitement of knowing we're going to finally be free of this uh, system that has kept us under their thumb for so long. And these are the death throes. These are the the ending uh, parts. But there are so many there are so many beginnings happening at the same time. And when we attach our emotionality to that, and we get excited about the future, the best is yet to come. If we get excited about that, our emotional creative energy and our ability to manifest our future is then funneled in that direction instead of the crash and fear and everything else. Because despite the fear, we've always come through. And so we see what fear really is. Fear is the mind killer. Fear is the little death that brings total obliteration. I will face my fear. I will permit it to pass over me and through me. And when it has gone past, I will turn the inner eye to see its path. Where the fear has gone, there will be nothing. Only I will remain. If you found this helpful, be sure to give it a like and also check out this video and this video. Thanks a lot for watching, and I'll see you next time.